Welcome back to the YouTube guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another exploring Cornwall video. Today we're going to the beautiful Marazon to see the stunning St Michael's Mount. And guys, if you love watching these Cornwall videos as much as we love making them, please hit the like button down below and the subscribe to see more of our videos. Let's get to St Michael's Mount, let's get into this. Guess where we are guys? At the beach again. On one of the only islands in Cornwall that you can walk to on a natural causeway. Of course, it's St Michael's Mount Jordan Ooh. in Marazion. I've been practicing that. Marazion. What do you call it? Marazion. So we're going to walk over. You have to time it right. It's quite early actually. Well, you might get stranded. Yeah, so you have to get low tide, which is 8.37 today until 11.45. Oh, there's a van going over the causeway. Beautiful place though. And again, a stunning day today in Cornwall. I'm wearing my wellies again. I'll try and not get wet. I actually really like walking over here. There's not a lot to do in the winter on um, St Michael's Mount, but it is free to go. In the summer, they do charge you. Beautiful restaurant up there that I like in the Godolphin. Absolutely worth the trip if you're in the area. St Michael's Mount is a tidal island in Mounts Bay, Cornwall. The island is a civil parish and is linked to the town of Marazion by a causeway. Some 30 people live here permanently. The St Alban family and the National Trust care for the Mount's rich historic legacy and ensure it is safeguarded for future generations to enjoy. You do need to plan your visits as the causeway is only open at certain low tide times. We're here for an early breakfast at the Island Cafe, which is a lovely spot to enjoy a coffee and bacon roll, or bacon cob, as Jordan would say. And you're always sure of a friendly Cornish welcome. That coffee. Beer con cob. That tea. Beautiful tea. Coffee connoisseur. It smells nice. Oh. I like it in this little restaurant. It's cute. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Bacon back there. Ooh. We always do this, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this bacon cop's good. What says you? Yeah. Make him up. Smash it. Bash. Yeah. Now after we've refueled, it's time to explore more of the island. And I can't help but wonder to myself what it would be like living here full time as I walk down the little streets. I've always thought it'd be a great place to allow tourists to stay in a small amount, but maybe it's just too cut off from the main island. Three. Two, one. No. Beautiful harbour. Not many boats here today though. It's great beautiful. Anyway, we've been told that the house, the castle reopens at the end of February. So you can book tickets to see that. But generally I'd say if you're in Cornwall and you're near Penzance or Marazione, Malazion. Then this is a really nice place to visit. 30 people live on this island. There is. Somewhere we often visit in Cornwall for its really diverse food and just stunningly pretty harbour and cobbled streets is the fabulous St Ives. Makes 
you just want to jump in. Might be a bit cold. Do you want to check the temperature? And it's equally as pretty at night as in the daytime. We're headed to the recently opened firehouse to try out some grilled Cornish meats. Okay, we're in firehouse. Little rumpy, some fire fries. Chicken and rib, those ribs look amazing. Little rib bites. Ooh. I need a little more salt, a bit more salt. Why is this a fire like a steak? These are buttermilk ribs, which is really, I've never heard of that before. I was like, mm, I wasn't sure what you should try. You try one then. What do you think? Mm. Fire hygiene. Back in the Roman crab. Well, not so much of a view today. You can be the view. Cheers to knives. Cheers to life. Cheers to Cuba Libras. That's a fish tank over there. Oh, these guys just bought these two bowls as well. After whiling away a few more hours exploring the rum and crab menu, we headed to our pod and awoke the next day to a glorious Cornish morning in the forest. We're staying at Chogresson Pods in Hale this time, sat next to the Chogresson campsites. It's located down a private road. Well, it's more of a farm track and it's very peaceful and quiet. We awoke to several squirrels and a rather excited pheasant. The pods offer a good size but still feel cosy and warm on a cold Cornish night. After a spot of breakfast in the pod, we're off to explore Penzance. Famous for its pirates, at least the singing variety anyway, Penzance is a historic port on the south facing shores of Mount Bay and it has one of the mildest climates in the UK, apparently. There are so many different places to be right next to the sea here which I love. Penzance is of course very near to the famous fishing port of Newlyn, a great place for some great fresh Cornish fish and increasingly some great pubs cooking it, which we'll explore further in another video. Did you know Penzance is the base of the pirates in Gilbert and Sullivan's comic opera, The Pirates of Penzance? At the time that the Liberato was written in 1879, Penzance had become popular as a peaceful resort town, so the idea of it being overrun by pirates was amusing to the contemporaries. Hello! <laughs> Are you looking out to sea? So just down from Newling, guys, is what? Penzance, Jordan. And that's where we are now on the beautiful promenade, which literally extends a long, long way. Down the stroll down the promenade <laughs> in the uh, lovely Cornish weather. Did you catch a fish earlier, Jordan? No. Fish market? No, we didn't catch a fish, but we did see a Mr. seal. Mr. Seal? Mr. Seal. What are we going to call him? The dogs of the sea. Yeah, exactly. Whose idea was it? Don't you just find it so relaxing sitting by the sea as the tide comes slowly in? Jordan's crabbing, or trying to. I'm not sure if he knows how to catch the crab, to be honest. Certainly didn't like eating them. He likes to think he likes crab, or crabbing. Absolutely stunning view behind me. And the Jubilee pool over there that we just saw, which is really cool. I want to try that in summer. Beautiful Pentance today. Peace and love, man. It's all about Cornwall, man. One love. Oh, I'm from the one love sign. Oh, yeah. One love. <laughs> <laughs> one love, one life, one Cornwall. One love. For the mother's pride. One love.
Jordan nearly got sucked into the sea. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. Like, maybe it's for mermaids. And that's our time in Cornwall over once again. But we'll be back very soon. And hopefully you get the chance to as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next one.